if you've uh, been inside an airplane, you've been essentially surrounded by a cocoon of honeycomb. The honeycomb is uh, into the floors that you're standing on, into the walls, the ceilings, even in some cases the tray that comes in front of you and sometimes the seats are made out of honeycomb. My name is Imad Atala. Uh, I am the Director of Strategic Marketing for Hexel. We make uh, composite materials uh, for uses in aerospace, airplanes, and the defense side, as well as in industrial applications. It's, it's hard to miss on the logo. We, we make honeycomb. Uh, we also make uh, carbon fiber. We make matrix products, which is known as prepreg. Uh, we make reinforcements. Uh, anything that's, uh, uh, that's a composite material that has benefits of weight and mechanical properties. Honeycomb is a very lightweight product that has um, very strong mechanical properties, so it tends to be uh, very useful in applications where you need to lift things off the ground or they need to be light. Uh, I wish we can take a lot of credit for uh, the honeycomb shape, but we actually stole it from bees. The hexagonal shape was found in nature essentially, and uh, bees figured out that uh, making their cocoons and their uh, homes out of that shaped material presents the best, most effective way to make a, uh, a strong structure with using the least amount of material. The, the different types of materials that are used for honeycomb, you can make it out of paper, out of fiberglass, and out of aluminum. Those are the three main types that we make. So essentially it starts with the, the material. We print adhesive lines at equal distances on the material, and then we take that printed roll and unroll it and stack the uh, honeycomb where the adhesive lines are out of phase on top of each other. So you can imagine uh, lines of honeycomb and the second sheet would be where the previous adhesive line is in between the prior two lines and that gets stacked to make a, a honeycomb block. Then what we do is we um, expand that block of honeycomb to the dimensions that is uh, specified. Essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to use the material in the most effective way. So by lining up uh, the material uh, perpendicular to the compression force and the resin that's on top of it, it makes it really strong in that dimension. And the fact that you have those hexagonal shapes and the material holding onto each other, it also has a good type of uh, property in the shear direction. And the rest of it is air. So you get the, the benefits of, uh, of being light as well as being strong for any applications that you need on an airplane.